What's up, everybody? Noah Kisser back here for another video for you guys today. This is a brand new uh, co-host to the channel. This is my good friend, Kirsten, and she's going to tell you what we're doing today. Hi, everybody. I'm Kirsten, and we are going to be talking about our top five favorite Tyler Hines movies for today. I'm very excited to be on to discuss some of my favorite things about his movies. And you've actually met the guy a couple times, haven't you? Yes, I have. I've been to Christmas Con a couple times, waited in those long lines to meet him. <laughs> so <laughs> it's definitely worth it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everybody says it's always worth it, but then you see the line, you're like, is, mm -hmm. is it worth it? Uh. No, definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. Great experience. Not only do you get to see him, but you meet all of his fans and it's just such a great fan base to be a part of everybody is so kind and lovely like the heinies are like the best group to be a part of <laughs> and i'm kind of like a welcomed in heiny fan a <laughs> little bit i guess i kind of got roped into it <laughs> <laughs> but what we're doing is our top five best tyler hines films now these are not objective right the mm -hmm. these are our subjective opinions these are our opinions if you have a different ones that's awesome all his films are great this guy doesn't have a bad film in my mind definitely doesn't <laughs> so first we're just going to go from our five four three two one on both of our sides and i know we have the same one okay so we're going to go into your uh fifth one first and then i'll go mine so mm -hmm. that, that's how this is going to go. So we're going to talk about each film, why we like it so much, and why it is at this number. So first up is Kirsten's number five is Three Wise Men and a Baby. What is it about this film that you love? Okay, so I love this film because not only do we get to see Tyler, but it's like you get to be a part of like the best friend group between Tyler, Andrew, and Paul. Mm -hmm. And it's just so great seeing all of their personalities like come together for this film. Um, their energy, like they just play off of one another. And it's just so fun to watch them just like kind of not even like act it out. It's just so natural to them. Um, so I just love seeing that film, the humor. It was so great seeing that side of Hallmark because you don't always get to see that in the film and they really brought it together for that. So I just love everything about that. Um, it was so great to watch. And we are getting a sequel this year, which yes. was a great surprise. I know. What was the title of that one? So that one, wait, correct me if I'm wrong, but is it Three Wiser Men and a Boy? I, I think it's Three Wiser Men and a Boy. I think, I think so. That, I don't want to give the wrong title, but I'm pretty sure that's the title is Three Wiser Men and a Boy, which I'm so excited to see them like in the future because I think it's like five years ahead of time. And it'll mm -hmm. be interesting to see like the dynamic shift of now having the child that's older too and how they're going to adjust to that. We asked for it. We've been begging for it. Mm -hmm. That movie got the highest rating in years. Even Hallmark fans... We're like, even if you're not a Hallmark fan, you got to watch this movie. I know. Everybody just needs to watch it. It's just such a fun, like, family-friendly Christmas movie. And it's not even a Hallmark film. Mm -hmm. It's it's a straight-up comedy. It is. It it, it has Hallmark-isms, of course. I mean, but this is just a film that is on my list. I'm not going to spoil mm -hmm. where it is on mine, but I love this movie as well. My number five is Roadhouse Romance. Roadhouse Romance is a film that just hit me the right way. Mm -hmm. I'm a country guy to my core. I love my country music. I love Lauren Elena. Oh my gosh, she she's is, amazing in that. She's so good. She's gorgeous. I mean, she is a gorgeous woman. I didn't imagine at any point in time I would see her in the army. <laughs> She came out of the army and I'm like, please let her sing. And she's on that mic. The hairs on my arm stood up. I know like, it's like is. a mic drop moment. <laughs> and everybody in the bar is like, yep, that's her. The people who watched this movie were like, hmm, who is this? If you don't know who Lauren Elena is, all you need to listen to is Road Less Traveled and you're hooked in. Yes. Her she and Tyler just has pulls you right in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Her and Tyler have such tremendous chemistry. He's a filmmaker. She's a singer, but she's also someone who just got out of the service. So there's a little bit of that in there, her past life at home, uh, why she loves this genre of music and trying to get him into it. The songs she recommends to him, I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're, you're doing the exact ones, but I'd add in a couple more. I, I love this film so much, and I can't wait to see what we get in the country mm-hmm. genre of Hallmark, because those seem to be a couple of my favorites. Yeah, I definitely agree with that, too. I would love to see them do some more like country things with their movies, and I would also love to see Lauren come back again to Hallmark. <laughs> <laughs> She, she did get married, so he, here's hoping. I want more from her. I do, too. We, we also got to see him with um, Kelly Pickler in the Mistletoe Secret. Yes, I love that one. Oh, we need more of Kelly Pickler. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I want another Graceland movie, I'm not going to lie. Those but, are really you know, good movies. Uh, let's get her back. Let's get more of Lauren back. And yes. let's just stick Tyler with all of the country artists and all the singers. I know he's been, been with all the singers, Leanne Rhymes, like oh everybody, like he's been with the greatest singers. And he can sing too. <laughs> he can sing too. He, he, he kind of makes me angry a little bit because he's that good looking. <laughs> he has charm. He's suave, but he can sing too. What mm-hmm. can't this dude do? <laughs> I know. What, what, really? But we're going to go into Kirsten's number four, which is time for him to come home for Christmas. This was one of my favorite ones of the Christmas season. It was kind of unexpected at first because I believe it premiered on the Mystery Channel, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it had like as wide of an audience because it was on that channel. But I loved every second of that film because it was just so heartfelt. Like you could see them like pouring their entire heart into the whole movie, Mm -hmm. like really like drilling into their characters. You got to see a different side of Holland and Tyler too. Like you don't always get to see like all of that, like raw emotion poured into it. It was just such a good movie to watch and like a different spin on some of like the regular Hallmark movies as well. I really love this film just because I remember watching this that same year. Mm-hmm. This dude ruled the Hallmark yes. Channel. I mean, he had the highest ratings. He had the best mm-hmm. movies out of anybody. And he <laughs> ended off with this film. I know. If this was a clunker, <laughs> I can't imagine how mad people would be. <laughs> if you screw up a time for a film, oh, you're in trouble. Uh huh. Thankfully, his was not the clunker. <laughs> this film really did work for me. It is not on my <laughs> list, but it's definitely in my top ten. I love this movie to death. Yes. Uh, I I own it. I can't wait to watch this many many more times. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm in the mood to watch it right now. <laughs> I know, like I could watch like any of these movies right now, all over mm-hmm. again. <laughs> Number four for me. This is a mixed one, guys. It's mixed. I know I don't know how you feel about this, but this was my second uh-huh. or third favorite of the entire year. Never been Chris. This movie is mixed, and I get it. Mm-hmm. It's a different story for Hallmark. It's not really what I thought it was going to be. Mm-hmm. It's all about these two friends who are in love with this same guy. I thought it was going to be them fighting over him because the preview really didn't yeah. give you anything. That's, I thought the same thing too when I first saw it. But what this film did. Is it really focused on a couple of different things, right? We do get a kiss between him and Pascal. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to spoil what happens there. But that's where it kind of threw me for a loop and I got into the groove of the movie. I'm like, this is what yeah. the movie is now. I really like that scene. It was interesting seeing them do that. And as a fan of Pretty Little Liars, seeing Janelle thrive mm-hmm. in a Hallmark Seeing her and right in front of me make my little heart just burst <laughs> because I loved seeing her in something other than the dark, twisted side of her normal characters. Mm-hmm. Now she's doing these bright, fluffy, happy moments, and she loves doing these movies. She loves yeah. them. And you can tell that her and her and Tyler, mm-hmm. they love each other. They love this movie. They believed in this movie. 
again, is Tyler a main focal point of this? Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's mostly about this friendship. And he's the main focal point of this friendship. Chris. Mm -hmm. And there was a, a, a phrase coined, I was just Chris. <laughs> yes. And everybody got a like from the man himself, Tyler Hines, on, on their posts, on their stories. Uh -huh. If you're watching this, it was, I, I got Chris, I got Chris. And I'm like, that's that's always a nice touch. Yeah. The funny thing is he actually hopped in onto a Zoom watch party. And he, everyone was like, I've been Chris. And he <laughs> talked to us for a little bit with Rusty. It was such an awesome moment. <laughs> Everybody loves this guy to death. And I don't know why this is divisive. It just worked for me. Mm -hmm. I, I can't wait to watch this again. It clicked with me. Uh, we, we had a great weekend of movies that specific definitely weekend did. with that and the Santa summit. Oh my. Oh, God. I love that movie. I love, <laughs> Oh, can, can we just move on to July, please <laughs> get to Christmas in July? No, I cannot wait for Christmas in July. How, how many films do you think they're going to premiere? I am going to say three, three. I'm sticking I'm hoping, between like the three to four range. I'm hoping they're better than last year's movies, but we're, we're not going to speak speak on those ones. Uh, we we don't want to speak bad about any of the films in in the Hallmark verse, mm -hmm. just because it's very hard to make a film, and it's very hard to make a good movie. To make a good movie takes mm -hmm. thousands of people. Yes, and sometimes it doesn't go your way. Mm -hmm. But what I thought was a very good film, you liked more than I did at your number three, is Roadhouse Romance. I just love Roadhouse Romance and seeing him and Lauren together. They were just like the perfect like country duo, like coming together. He was filmmaker and then she came back and I just loved every second of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why it gets a little less love than his other films i get it mm -hmm. but as a country fan it helps if you love that genre of mm -hmm. music it sucks you in more and if I you're not a fan, agree. yeah i i have a couple friends who aren't really fans of it and i get it mm -hmm. i get it if it grinds your gears a little bit because you don't like that twang that's perfectly fine i grew up around it it's my favorite genre and I listened to it pretty much every day. And the other thing I really liked about that movie too was how she would like say like little like Southern quotes and like how he would write stuff down. And I was like, this is the best. <laughs> I, I think we could possibly get a sequel if they wanted to do it with him mm -hmm. making a movie about That's a good idea. Quotes. I like that. That would be a unique like twist on what they already did. I, th I, th I think we need to copyright that. No. <laughs> <laughs> At my number three, uh, I love this movie. It has my favorite Hallmark actor and my favorite Hallmark actress in it. Sweet Carolina. Mm, that's one of my favorites, too. Sweet Carolina. I kid you not, I knew nothing going into this movie. <laughs> when it premiered, all I knew it is it had my beloved Lacey Chabert. Mm-hmm. And it had Tyler. Sold. What else do I need to know uh -huh. to be sucked into this film? Lacey was enough for me. But then you bring in the lead guy at Hallmark now who reigns supreme over everything. Oh, come on. <laughs> this movie has heart. It has soul. It has comedy. The family element is fantastic. Mm-hmm. There's emotional aspects in there that can be relatable to everybody and is relatable to everybody because everybody has suffered a loss every now and again. Mm -hmm. it, it's a sad part of life, but I like how they explore it. They add in uh, a little bit of learning how to be a parent, how to be a guardian as well. That was very well done. Uh, they do add in the former flame we've seen many times in this type of film but they do it so well here mm -hmm. where we've seen Tyler and Lacey before, but not like this. No, this was something where the chemistry was escalated so much. So in my opinion that it succeeded everything he did. 
before that film. Mm -hmm. But that's before rewatching something that we're going to talk about a little bit later. Yeah. At your number two, we're going to talk about Lacey and Tyler again with Winter in Veil. Oh my gosh, I love this movie, Winter and Veil. Vale. Like already, again, Tyler and Lacey being together, just such a perfect match. They just mesh so well in every aspect. Um, I loved getting to see like her come into that environment and then also like the restaurant too and helping out at the restaurant, trying to bring life back to the town and doing the, what was it, like the Strudel Fest? Was oh, oh the Strudel was? Fest. Yeah, <laughs> the Strudel Fest. I loved seeing that and knowing that like the boot shot tradition came from that movie is just like the cherry on top. Mm -hmm. um, such a great tradition. He, being able to do that and incorporating like all the Heinies into it. So I feel like every time I watch that movie, it's like you can feel like the love of like the whole Heinies family. Yep. <laughs> Such a good movie. <laughs> I love this movie too. One of my favorite memories of it is I remember when it was being made. I didn't know it was with Tyler. Mm -hmm. I was following Lacey on Instagram and she was sharing all these stories. And she said, it's 20 below zero here and it's warm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I'm like, I know you're kidding. You're a great actress, but I can tell you're freaking freezing. Yeah. It was 20 below zero. I, I think they shot this in Vancouver, I think, mm -hmm. where, where they shoot most of them. <sighs> what these actors have to mm -hmm. go through I sometimes know. is insane. I know. Like what they do for us to see these amazing movies. Oh. <laughs> like and they, they love them even more than we do, I think. Mm -hmm. Which, I don't know how that's possible, because they, they all support everybody. Yeah. And they all share the co-stars. Mm -hmm. So th they can share stories, help with a tidbit with this actor if they want to, but they can't prepare for how cold or hot it's going to be in Canada when yeah. they shoot these films. And wait, was this movie... Was this one before Sweet Carolina? I think so. Yeah, that's I what I thought, too. Before. Yeah, I was trying to think, because that was, like, I think that was their first time that they were together, right? Y yes. Yeah, uh, that was their Yes. Yeah, that was their first time they were together, and then you could really feel, like, they already, like, had that, like, good, positive vibe then going into Sweet Carolina. Mm -hmm. My number two we've already talked about. I don't got a whole lot to say more about it. Three Wise Men and a Baby. Uh, I haven't seen the extended cut yet. I haven't either, actually. Well, that that might be something we, we have to do soon that we'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, but this movie is just pure joy. It's funny. It gives you the brotherly vibes. And you can definitely tell that there's a resemblance between Andrew Walker and Tyler Hines. Definitely a family resemblance. Yes, they're cousins. But here, they mesh like brothers. I, I guarantee you, in, in real life, if you didn't know that they were cousins, mm -hmm. you you could just automatically guess. With Paul in there, they mesh so well together. Yes. That brotherly chemistry is hard to come by, especially doing it right and a retake on three mm -hmm. uh, on three men and a baby. Oh, come on. I know. And like the dance at the end and like the it was just perfect. <laughs> It just brought like that humor all together at the end. And I even got to do the pose with Tyler at Christmas con for a picture, which was the greatest experience. You, you did the, the <laughs> yes. Golf, right? Yeah. And Amanda was in that too. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you guys will meet her very, very soon. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she's an awesome person. Can't wait for all of you to meet her. Uh, and we have a little announcement at the end of this video, but I'll have an announcement before that, a, a proper <laughs> announcement, but that's my number two. And we both have our number one. And I think you're wearing the shirt, aren't you? Yes, I'm wearing the Romance You shirt from It Was Always You. And since you brought up <laughs> Romance You, might as well bring oh, up the new hat. hat. <laughs> we always got to rep Romance You. We always have to rep it. Uh, I can't wait to get shirts. Mm -hmm. 
this was an impulse buy because one, I need a new head anyways. So I mean, <laughs> why not I rip it? This shirt, I love this shirt too because it has the quote on the back of it. And who does not love that quote? I feel like Come that's on. like a classic Hallmark quote. Might go down as like one of the greatest lines in all of the Hallmark movies. I I think it's a tie mm-hmm. between I I I can't tell you how many people know. I loved you yesterday. I love yeah. you today, and I'll love you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And the other one is that's Garland for you. <laughs> yep, I always think of that quote every time I see that movie. I'm always like, "That's Garland for you." <laughs> oh, the, those two are the most well-known lines. Yes. Oh my lord, <laughs> I I love that quote, and I I can't tell you how many times I just want to go back and rewatch this film right here. Uh huh. Because I personally think it's the best Hallmark film ever made. Oh, really? I, I think it is the best one ever made. Why? Because, yes, it gives you the Hallmarkisms, but it feels like an actual higher budget romance film. The, mm-hmm. the camera angles used in this are just phenomenal. The lighting. They really are. The, the, oh, when they're watching TV, mm-hmm. I don't know how they got that perfect lighting, but that just worked. It just <laughs> worked. <laughs> Everything about this film hits me in the right way, and it might be my all-time favorite Hallmark film, but yeah. that's up for debate, because if you look at everything they've done as a Hallmark fan, mm-hmm. God, that's hard. And did you also see how Erin teased maybe a little bit of a possible sequel? She was like, I heard you make sequels these days, and I know everybody, any Hallmark fan would absolutely go crazy for a sequel for this movie. They would go nuts. They would go <laughs> absolutely nuts. What I think they could do, could you see them doing a wedding film? Where that it could, would be really fun. I, I, I was just thinking about it, and I, I thought about the title. I'm like, it's always going to be you. Oh, that's a good one. Or it's always you. Yeah. Or it always will be you. Mm-hmm. I think you could easily do a wedding film with these two, and it would be phenomenal as a direct sequel i would love to see them like travel somewhere too because that was like a big theme in the movie like getting to travel around the world and i know like she sent like postcards and different things would be nice to actually see them get to go on like some sort of adventure together Mm -hmm. so that is everything for that and uh i i almost forgot right i have this lady who comes into my work lovely lady Mm -hmm. I don't think I've told you this story yet. (laughs) She came in and she was wearing a blue Hallmark shirt. Yeah. And I think it said, I'd rather be watching the Hallmark channel. (laughs) Oh, I have. I have a shirt like that. (laughs) And she, and I'm like, is that a Hallmark shirt? And she she Uh goes, yeah, why? Said, I watch them too. She was not about that big. I legit have this with me. (laughs) The sweatshirt that says, I'd rather be watching Hallmark channel. (laughs) I, I have a red shirt that I've had for years, and it says, this is my Hallmark movie watching shirt. Mm-hmm. And then I got a black one uh, with white lettering that says, Hallmark movie hero. <laughs> uh, she she loves coming in. Whenever she, she comes in, we have to talk Hallmark because mm-hmm. she, she loves it. I love it. We have a good talk. I was off one day, and she called the store. And she asked, hey, where's the young man at today? <laughs> and my coworker goes, he's he's not here. Can I take a message? She she goes, well, my name is this, mm-hmm. yada, yada, yada. Uh, he, he helps my grandkids with their, their shoes and everything. Mm-hmm. And she wanted to know if I had saw a movie that just aired. She just saw it. It was Three Wise mm-hmm. Men and, and a Baby. <laughs> And she just wanted to talk to me about it while I was at work. (laughs) So she called to see if I was there just so she could talk to somebody about it because her husband doesn't like them and they drive him crazy. So I think it's just that she finally had somebody to talk about them with Mm -hmm. that she wanted to. And it's, it's always one of my favorite stories because no matter how many times it just makes everybody smile. Yes. Especially when it's that movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she she comes in and she goes, 
I just saw this one this weekend. I'm like, that's a good one too. That's awesome. Oh, <laughs> I, I love her to death. She's amazing. So do you want to make the announcement or do you want me to? You can make the announcement. All right. So next week, we'll have our pilot episode of a brand new podcast. Myself, Kirsten, and Amanda will be launching a brand new podcast called Heart Full of Hallmark Podcast. This will not be just a Hallmark podcast. We will be going all over romance movie areas. We will go from star to star, talking about our favorite mm -hmm. films, going over a specific film series or just a specific film for that episode. Our main focus will be Hallmark, but we will also be doing um, reviews of our favorite films as well as the new ones if there's a new one that week and if we've all seen it. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, there will be a time, say, that you can't do it or Amanda can't do it. So then we'll, we'll just have to go without w one of you because, you know, work and family comes first. Mm -hmm. This is a hobby, and I'm sure we're going to have a, a lot of fun with this. Yes. J just three really good friends enjoying this journey through Hallmark and potentially getting to see where this leads us because you mm -hmm. never know where the hallmark verse is going to lead you yes. with the legion of fans. Mm -hmm. Could have great but surprises. <laughs> we, we, we never know. We have some things down the pipeline <laughs> that we're going to try and get to, but let us know your top five Tyler Hines films down below in the comments. Like and subscribe if you're new. And I'm going to give a little bit of a shout out to Kirsten and Amanda's Instagram. What is your Instagram together? So we have a combined Instagram where we post about different Hallmark movies. We're a little bit behind on it, but we're going to get back onto it. <laughs> um, so our Hallmark page is you had me at Hallmark and we have some different videos up, some pictures, um, and hopefully we'll get to post one for the upcoming movie for Cindy's new movie this weekend, which we're all very excited for. <laughs> which leads me into my other announcement. We haven't shot it yet. This is happening uh, on Friday, right? Mm -hmm. We're doing an interview with my good buddy, Jason Bork, who is the director of A Whitewater Romance. And I'm not going to set anything in stone, but I may have another interview down the pipeline. It kind of just depends what the schedule is. We've seen her on the channel before. Sweetheart, one of my favorite Hallmark stars. You've met her as well. But we're not going to say nothing yet. We'll, we'll just have to see what happens. <laughs> But thank you guys for watching this video, and I can't wait for you guys to see the podcast, and we will see all of you guys. Thank you, everybody. Time. See you. See you all soon.